Good morning, those of you signed on with me this morning. We're going to be um, getting started with, with Matrix in just a, a few seconds. Uh, I see Tracy saying good morning. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, those of you signed on with me this morning. You hear the echo there. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll give everyone a second to get signed on, and we will officially start at 9.01. Hope everyone's having a good Monday so far. Be nicer if this weather wasn't so dreary, but hopefully that'll clear up. <laughs> okay, so it is 9.01. We're gonna go ahead and get started. My name is Christina Schaefer. I am one of the instructors for HAR as well as the social media manager for HAR. Um, I'll put up my email address at the end of the session so that you can jot that down if you need to. Um, but I did put in the comments section as well, I put the uh, MLS department, their phone number there for you guys. Uh, it's the HAR main number with the extension 376. Um, definitely reach out to them after today if you have any questions regarding anything we cover today, but really just anything in matrix, uh, anything MLS related. So even if it's about realist or tax program, um, reach out to our MLS department with that as well. Um, there are quality assurance department. It's, they have a call center and that's all they do all day long are answer your MLS related questions. So feel free to reach out to them after today. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the MLS or any of the MLS products like realist, um, also, like I said, I will put up my contact information at the end of the session. So be on the lookout for that if you want to reach out to me directly. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get into the content of today's uh, session. Today we're talking about auto email. Now, actually, those of you that have been following these Matrix Mondays from the beginning, this is actually a repeat. Uh, we This was our very first Matrix Monday was on this same topic, but I know a lot of you have started doing these with us. Um, you know, maybe didn't start from the very beginning. So I figured this, if any topic, is a great topic to actually repeat because it's such an important one. Um, we get so many questions about it. It's probably the, the question I get the most emails about and our MLS department gets the most questions and calls about. So I figured this is a good topic for us to go ahead and revisit. Um, now also, um, I will be covering just a little bit more than I did in the first one. So if you did sit in on the first one, um, I'm going to be covering a little more than I did then. Uh, we'll talk about uh, not just how to set it up, but also how to manage it after the fact. So we're going to be looking at all of those things today. So if you did sit in on the first one, you're still going to get a little extra today. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So auto email, what this, what this um, tool does is this tool allows me to take my client's uh, search criteria, right? So they've told me they want to live in this area, this price range, this amount of bedrooms, etc. So I take that criteria, I put it into the system, and the system will automatically notify me and my client whenever there's something new or updated that matches their criteria. So this is a really, really helpful tool because instead of you having to go in and search the MLS all day, every day, looking for something new that matches our criteria, this program does it for you, okay? So that's what we're going to be looking at today. How do I set that up and how do I manage it after the fact? Because, you know, it's not just about setting it up. Your client's, um, you know, search criteria might change or once they close on a home, you don't want them to receive it anymore. So we're going to be going over all of that today in setting up and managing auto email. Now, I know uh, not everyone on here uh, used our old uh, platforms, Tempo and or Fusion, um, but if you were a member that was with us um, before November of last year and you used Tempo or Fusion, um, in Tempo and in Fusion, these did have different names. Um, we referred to it, some people referred to it as uh, client gateway, some people referred to it as prospecting, uh, some Fusion users referred to it as auto notification. So there were different terms for it, different names for it. And I think that's honestly where the biggest confusion lies with using Matrix and using auto email and Matrix is because it's not called the same thing anymore. It has a new name. So it's now called auto email. So that's what we're going to be setting up today is auto email. All right, so to get started here, um, the first thing I need to do is I need to put in my, my client's search criteria, right? I need to tell the system what it is exactly they are looking for. So I'm gonna start off um, by going up to search. Uh, in this case, we're gonna do single family, and I'm gonna do a single family quick search. 
Now, we have covered um, searching in other Matrix Mondays. This is one that I might revisit as well, is just, you know, running a quick search, how to go through that process using, you know, um, this form here. Um, so we won't spend too, too much time on it today. I'm just really going to put in the criteria that I'm looking for for my client uh, or my fictitious client in this case <laughs> and, um, you know, kind of go through the process of setting up the auto email. So if you need more of a step by step on how to use this form and how to search and all of that stuff, um, look back to other videos we have. Um, this session, as well as every other Matrix Monday session that we've done, is recorded in the video section of our Facebook page, you can see them and play them back there. So, and again, I might I might still revisit and do the quick search for you guys again, um, just to make sure that we're all on the same page with that. Okay, so in this case, um, I'm, I'm setting this auto email for my client. Now I've chosen to use the status as active, option pending, pending, entity show and pending, and you can see that very easily right there. If I wanted to uncheck any of these, I can. If I wanted to add in more, I can add in more, but I'm just gonna leave it at that at this point. Um, and then I need to put in a price range. So let's say that this particular client is looking in the $300 to $400,000 price range. Okay. Um, there, let me put in a location to filter this down a little bit. Let's say they're looking in the League City geo market area. It says I have 167 matches. Um, they also express they need a minimum of four bedrooms. So I'm going to put in four plus. And let's also just say that they're looking for a private pool as well. So I'm going to put private pool, yes. Now I'm down to 18 matches. So um, again, I know that some of you may not be familiar with how to type some of this stuff in if you haven't really gotten into Use Matrix that much. Again, check out um, previous Matrix Mondays in regards to quick searching on why I put a plus sign there or why I did what I did here, okay? Now, at this point, um, it says I have 18 matches. Um, I can hop on over to results and go ahead and just set up the auto email, but maybe there's more to it. Maybe it's not just League City, but they want to live on just a particular side of the freeway in League City, right? They want to live in East League City or West League City or whatever the case may be. Well, I can still, at this point, click on the map. And I think I'm answering Olinka's question, actually. Where's the map? <laughs> Here it is. Um, so you still have access to the map. You did not lose that uh, capability. Um, so in this case, again, I said that my client's looking in League City. Well, maybe they're only wanting to live on the east side of League City or west side of League City or whatever the case may be. Well, I could at this point come up here, grab one of my map tools, and actually draw on the map, you know, a particular... Uh, location. So I think that answers Alinka's question there. If if maybe this was, you know, the part of Lake City they were looking to live in, now I've eliminated anything that was over here, okay? We did do a separate Matrix Monday specifically on the map, just only about the map, so that might be a good idea for you or anyone else who's on this um, session with us today that wants more in-depth overview of the map, I would go check out the map searching uh, video that you can find in our video section on the Facebook page. But yes, I can still incorporate the map. I haven't lost that capability. All right, so moving on over to results. So again, I have 18 matches. Um, I can see my 18 matches here. I can review the 18 matches, check out whatever I need to check out. But the goal here is not just to send them these 18 matches. The goal here is to take this criteria that I put in right, and have the system notify them whenever something new or updated matches that criteria, okay? Um, we did do another session before um, all about uh, working with results where we covered the button bar. We covered all of the tools available on this button bar. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of those, but what I will do is go ahead and go over on my button bar over to save, and when I see save, I'll see the button that says new auto email, okay? Um, so again, all I've done so far was I put in my criteria, I reviewed the map, then I came over to the results, and down here on my button bar, I clicked save and new auto email, okay? This is honestly the most difficult part about setting up the auto email is just finding this button right here, okay? So once you've found this button, <laughs> The hard part's over. So again, on the results, I just, it starts uh, on actions, but I clicked on save, new auto email, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click new auto email and go through the process of setting this up. So 
anything in yellow is required. Um, so I need to tell the system it's requiring that I put in a contact because it needs to know who to um, send this to, right? So I can select my contact there. I can CC as many people as I want on this, um, their spouse, my assistant, if I work on a team and I want more than one, or I want someone else on my team to get this, whatever the case is, I can CC people on this. Also, I can blind car carbon copy myself um, on the emails as well. So that's a really, um, you know, helpful thing to do there because I don't want my client to just get notified about things that match their criteria, um, but uh, I want to be notified as well, okay? So, um, also required in yellow down here, uh, I need to put in a subject line for the email they're going to get. So I would encourage you, you know, make this something that they're going to recognize, you know, um, something that's going to kind of stand out to them in their inbox because this is going to be the subject line they see in their email whenever they get updates, okay? Um, so I could name this something like properties in League City that match your criteria, whatever their criteria may be, okay? Um, and again, this will just, you'll just do that based on the client, based on your personality, whatever you want to put in there. Just I just encourage you to make it something that makes sense to you and that'll make sense to them when they see it. Okay, um, so I see your question or your comment there, Alinka. I will go back and show you that. Again, we did cover that in the map uh, search uh, video that we did or the map search Facebook Live. Um, I'll go back and show you really quickly where that is later on. But yeah, we did cover that before, so I'll, I'll make sure. And you did not, again, you didn't lose that capability. Okay, so I've put in the subject line here. Um, then I can review the welcome email and the recurring email. The welcome email, they just get once, just kind of welcoming them to the portal, explaining that they're gonna be able to get listings, uh, see listings, categorize them, see photos, maps, and more. Uh, so it's just kind of explaining what they're gonna be getting from me. Now, you can, if you see there's a cursor blinking there, I can get in there and I can modify this and type in whatever I'd like. Um, for the most part, it does give a really good overview of what to expect, but if maybe, you know, it just doesn't sound like me, I want to personalize it a little bit, I can do that. Same thing with the recurring email. If I, you know, it's a very short and sweet, there's one or more newer updated listings that match your criteria, but if I'd like to expand on that, I can. And then again, um, once I've done that, if you guys see this little gear down here, I can actually, if I do change the welcome greeting, for example, I can set that message as my default welcome, okay? So if I do change it to sound a little more like me and I want it to be like that for all my clients, then I can click that little gear there and I won't have to recreate it every time I set this up for somebody. It'll just remember what I like. Same thing with recurring email. Uh, set this as my recurring email text. Okay, so my email signature is in there ready to go. We set this up in the matrix settings um, section there. Um, so I, I, uh, I set this up in my matrix, my information. If you haven't set that up yet, I encourage you to do so. Um, so I've got my email signature in there. I can again see the criteria um, for their search. Now I have settings and schedule. Okay, so in settings, this is new. Um, those of you that used our old platforms, we didn't have this capability before. And it's called concierge mode. So this is a tool that you can use. It's an optional tool that you can use when you set up an auto email. Something that, I, that uh, members would express to me in the past, they'd say, you know what, I just set up the auto email just to go to me. Uh, and then I manually go email things to my client because I don't want them to get everything that matches their criteria. I wanna be able to filter, right? Well. You don't have to do that anymore. Um, with concierge mode, this is exactly what that does, is it allows you to filter for your client. So if I wanted to maybe you know, set up this search, I wanna get notified about League City, this price range, bedrooms, four plus, private pool, yes, but I need to review these before they go to my client because maybe they have some extra special criteria that you know, I didn't put into the system. Maybe front door faces a particular direction um, that's not a required MLS field, for example, so maybe, you know, I get the notifications, I go check what direction it faces, and then I email it to my client, right? It's a little more legwork on my part, but I'm only sending them stuff that matches our criteria at that point. That's just one example. Um, but what I can do with enable concierge mode is set that up. So instead of notifying my client when there's a match, it notifies me, I can then ch uh, check or select what I want them to receive. And I'll show you how that looks in just a minute. Now. Watch what happened though, when I enabled concierge mode, 
schedule went away. And that's because it's, it's telling me basically, if I'm in able to concierge mode, I'm saying I don't want my client to get it ASAP or daily or what have you. I'm saying send it to me and I will notify my client whenever I want them to get something, okay? So them receiving these is dependent on you checking your email and approving them, okay? Um, enable is a favorite search on your home tab. If I want quick access to this search on my home screen of Matrix, I can check that box there. Um, on schedule, ASAP means ASAP. The system updates every 15 minutes. They could get multiple emails in a day if there's multiple changes that match their criteria. Um, you'll know an ASAP client when you have them. If they're the kind of client that's on HAR.com 12 times a day, running searches, looking for new properties, or they're an active buyer, they're ready to buy, you know, they're probably an ASAP client. They want to be notified right away, right? Uh, but not every client is like that. You know, maybe I just want a, a once daily update or maybe at most twice daily update, right? Um, or maybe I'm just very casually looking and I just want maybe a Monday morning update, right? So you can, you know, depending on the needs of your client, um, set this to go as frequently or infrequently as you want. The, la the most uh, infrequent would be monthly and that's a once a month update, okay? So in this one, I'm going to set up ASAP and then I'll hit save. Okay, so I've set it up. It says I've created an auto email. Wasn't difficult to do. Again, I just put in the client's criteria, came here to results. On my button bar, I clicked save, new auto email, and then I followed the steps from there. So now I've set this up and that client will start getting updates uh, of properties that match this criteria, okay? But again, things change. Maybe I started sending them this and they contacted me and said, you know, um, after looking at all these, we really, we, we want a one story home <laughs> and maybe they didn't tell me that the first go around, or maybe, you know, let's modify our price range a little bit because maybe we're not finding what we're looking for or whatever the case may be. So there is some management after the fact that comes into play that you're going to need to know about. Okay. So once I've set up this auto email, um, Carmen said, did I see that it only sent the active listings? No, it did send because my statuses that I had put in, the criteria I put in was active option pending, pending continue show, and pending. So it sends them all anything that currently matches their criteria. Okay. So even if they they want to see, you know, the solds that take place around them, I could have checked sold and shown them that too. So if maybe it's a potential seller I'm setting this up for, whatever the case is. Um, so yeah, it'll it'll use whatever um, status you have selected. Great question there, Carmen. Okay, so I've set this up. My client's already getting notified because I did set up ASAP. But after the fact, again, let's say she contacts me and I need to change her criteria, okay? The way to do that, I'll just go to My Matrix. And there's two places you can manage it. Um, you can go down to Contacts and Management, or you can go to Auto Emails and Manage It. Either way works. I like to go to Contacts simply because anything I set up for a contact in Matrix, I have access to from here. So I set this up for um, this client right here. If I click on her name, I'll see any auto emails I've set up for her, any CMAs that I've done for her. This will even show me any emails I've sent her, and it even shows me if she's ever viewed those emails as well. So I like to come here again, My Matrix Contacts, to manage it after the fact, but you can also go down to auto email. It really doesn't make a difference. It's just um, for me, I like to see the overview of everything that I've done for them. That way I have access to everything here. I can also edit her contact information, delete her as a contact. Uh, if you delete them as a contact, it does delete everything associated with them as well. I can start a CMA for her right here. Um, I can open her uh, client portal from here, which we'll get to in just a second, and I can open her cart from here as well, okay? So I set up an auto email for her, and I'm going to click on that. And I do see I have an inactive one here for her as well. I'm just going to delete that so you guys don't get confused there. That's one that I used for her as an example in the past. Um, obviously, this is a fictitious client. I don't actually know Julie Andrews. <laughs> so uh, I used her, her as an example in the past. Okay, so um, this is the auto email I just set up for her. Did I set myself to BCCB? To be BCC'd on it, sorry, stumbled over my words there. Yes, I did. She's getting it ASAP. The last time she visited her portal, as of this point, is never because she hasn't pulled this up yet. So I want to manage this. Now, there's a couple things I can manage. Um, I can manage her settings. So again, I set her up as ASAP. 
maybe, you know, um, she calls me and says, Christina, I really appreciate, you know, you notifying me about things that match my criteria, but can you just send me maybe one or two emails a day? Well, I can change that after the fact. Um, I can go into settings and I can change the schedule to go from ASAP to daily. Okay. Or the opposite. Maybe I set her up on daily and she said, you know, I start noticing that she's calling me in the middle of the day, finding different properties, and maybe she's more of an ASAP client. Well, I can go to settings and modify that there, okay? Um, one other thing you can do there in settings that I wanna point out really quick, um, on settings now, I could still enable concierge mode if maybe I decide I need to filter for her a little more, but also if you see under settings, we have enable disabled. So maybe I need to temporarily turn off this search for her, not delete it, but maybe she's gone under contract and you know doesn't want to see anything else unless this contract falls through, right? Or maybe you know some major life event happened in their life and they're going to temporarily stop their home search and pick it back up later. Well, in that case, I wouldn't want to delete it because she's going to come back to me and work with me later. I could just disable it and it'll stop notifying her. Then when I'm ready, or she's ready, more importantly, I can come back in and re-enable it if I need to. Okay, and just hit save to make that change. So that's what you can do under settings. Another thing you can do is modify her criteria. Like I said, maybe after the fact, I set this up for her and she says, oh, you know, we really wanted a one-story home and they forgot to tell me that. Or we want to change their price range or whatever the case is. I can click on criteria and modify her criteria still from here. So if I did want to change it to just one-story homes, for example, I could do that and just hit save at the bottom. Or if she wanted to update her price range, I could make that change there and hit save at the bottom, okay? So pretty easy to modify that criteria as well as the settings after the fact if you know those things were to change for her. Okay, so, um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, so I have um, settings criteria. There's a few other things, but I wanna get to the really important stuff. Resend welcome. If for some reason she didn't get the welcome email, I can resend it to her as many times as I need to. Um, delete auto email. She's closed on a home. I don't want her to get this anymore. You know, I showed you how you can disable it, but maybe I just wanted to completely delete it. Well, I can do that too, okay? And remember, if you delete her as a contact, it deletes everything associated with her, okay? Her CMAs, her auto emails, everything. All right, um, and then if I hit open in portal, um, I can go see the portal. Now, if you see in the top right-hand corner, it says it's my BCC portal. Um, so it's my blind carbon copied version of her portal. Um, in another Matrix Monday, we did go over the client portal specifically. I would go check that out if you missed that because there's some really neat things in this client portal um, that you wanna be able to inform your clients about and kind of know about yourself. Um, so go check that one out. Again, it's recorded in the video section of our Facebook page if you want to watch that. It's just called cl the Client Portal. Um, so this is the Client Portal. One thing, though, that I do want to show you, um, maybe, for example, I saw this when I was going through and putting in her criteria. I saw this property here, and I happened to notice that you know, they're not uh, gonna be showing this property until April 15th, for example. Well, I can come in here, click on that property, and I can actually add notes to a property. So it says notes for you and your agent. So if I wanted to say, you know, for example, this property is not showing until April 15th, I'll hit add note. When she comes in here to view this property, she's gonna see you know, my headshot there, and at 9.24 a.m., Christina said this property's not showing until April 15th, okay? So anything that I found important, or um, you know, if there was one that uh, I know she's probably gonna be interested in, and maybe they put that we're accepting offers un until this date, or whatever the case is, I can add you know, whatever information in there that I deem um, appropriate, okay? So that's, I access that by just clicking Open in Portal. Okay, one last really, well not last, but one more really important thing, and we didn't cover this in the, in the first time that, I, that we went over auto email, but something else that's important. Um, I do get questions a lot from members asking, you know, how do I know, you know, when they get updates or what they've done or if they favorited a property uh, in their portal, how do, I get, how do I know that they favorited a property? There's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, on the home screen, we have a widget here that says recent portal visitors. So it says I have no recent portal visitors. But if she had visited her portal, 
I would see her name. Um, if she had favorited a property, I would see a little heart here. If she made notes on a property, I'd see a little post-it note here. So I would know, oh, she favorited a property, let me go see it. Or she made notes on a property, and my, that note might be for me. Let me go click on it and see what she, she wrote in, okay? So you can find that here. But you can also get notified about it. Um, if you go to My Matrix and then go down to Settings, you're going to see portal notification settings. It's the very last option there, portal notification settings. So I can get emails or text messages whenever my client visits the portal, marks a favorite, adds notes, et cetera. So I can um, get notified. So, you know, some people see this and they're like, well, that's great, but what if I don't pull up Matrix and they made a note and it was directed at me saying they, you know, want to set an appointment to go see this property? Well, you can get notified. So if I go to my matrix, go down to settings, portal notification settings, I can set this up to either email me or, or text me uh, whenever something like that happens. Or I can just get a daily notification email letting me know about everything, right? So maybe I don't wanna know every time they visited their portal that day. Maybe I just like to know daily, once daily when they visit their portal. If they add a note, maybe I want a text message um, if they add a favorite, maybe I want to email or text about that. So whatever, you know, however important that is to you, you can kind of modify that there. Okay. Okay, Tammy, I guess uh, Tammy's internet went out. Um, and it's probably good for everybody for me to repeat that. So Tammy was saying, um, after you how do you go in and put a note on a specific property? So when you go to My Matrix uh, Contacts or down to Auto Email, either way, when I clicked on that client, clicked on her auto email there, I hit Open in Portal. Okay, so anybody that missed that, when I hit Open in Portal, now if I needed to come in and make a, a note on 230 Farnworth, uh, Farnworth, excuse me, I can click on that and make my little note here saying whatever it is I'd like to say. Okay. All right, so a couple more things about this because I said we're not just going to cover how to set up auto email but how to manage it after the fact. So one of the features that we noticed that's a new feature we didn't have before um, is concierge, right? And I said that concierge, when I set up an auto email, concierge allows me to filter for my client. So maybe I don't want them to get every, you know, property that matches their criteria necessarily because uh, I would like to be able to filter those first. Well, when we set up auto email, we saw where we could check a box that says concierge. Now you do get emails uh, notifying you whenever there's a concierge update, okay? So I would get an email letting you know, you have um, an update for John in this case, you need to come review them, right? But I also see it as soon as I log into Matrix. So I check my email, I see I have something in here for John, it tells me right here, concierge, that I have four listings that need my approval for John, I also see in the top left-hand corner. Now, very common question that I get from people is, hey, wait a minute, I don't see that widget on my screen. Why do you have it and I don't? Well, this will just pop up for you when necessary. So unless you've set an auto email up with concierge, you won't see the concierge widget on your screen. So basically it just kind of pops up when it needs to, if you will, okay? So don't worry if you don't see it on your screen. If you set up a, an auto email with concierge, it will pop up when it needs to, okay? Um, so I have four listings that need my approval for John here. If I click on that, I can review these. You know, I can click on the MLS numbers and go see the listing reports. I can go view photos, whatever I need to review there, right? Um, and then I can select, um, you know, one or multiple or all of them, and I can either reject them and he won't receive them, or I can approve them and he'll receive them right away. Okay, so maybe I reviewed them and I want to send him this one and I want to send him this one, but I don't want to send him the other two. Well, I can just approve those two and maybe reject the other two, right? So um, that's what concierge does. I'm, it allows me to kind of filter and send them what I deem appropriate or not. And again, that's optional. You don't have to set that up, but it's, it's great that we now have that capability, okay? Uh, yes, to answer your question, uh, Deborah, and thank you, Jessica, for helping me out there. Um, we do have these. This will be up on our Facebook page in the video section. And as Jessica said, it's also on our YouTube channel as well. 
Okay, so that um, is really all there is to it, setting up auto email and managing auto email after the fact. Um, oh, I did want to go back and, and answer um, Alinka's question. She was asking about um, the map, okay? Um, and again, we do have a separate video just about the map. Um, but on the map, Alinka, if you go to the map, hover over this little layers button there, you'll see uh, MLS area. She was asking about how to see the boundary lines for MLS area, so that's where they are right there. Um, they also have geo market area. In this case, I used the geo market area League City, so you can kind of see that all of the properties that I uh, that came up as a match fell under those boundary lines, so you have, you have those here. So you did not lose that capability as well. All right, so I'm gonna put my information back on the screen for you guys. There is my email address if you have questions after today. Um, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, also, like I said, I put the MLS Quality Assurance, their department phone number and extension on uh, the comment section as well. They're a call center. Um, they answer these questions all day long, so never hesitate to give them a shout if you have questions regarding matrix or realist, you know, anything MLS related they um, can help you with. Um, we will be back next Monday, same, same time, same place. Um, if you have suggestions, for a topic that you would like to co me to cover in the future, please feel free to send that my way, um, either here in the comments section or you can email it to me individually. Um, I, I would love to, to help you guys and share, share information with you that you're actually wanting to know about. So <laughs> if you have suggestions, please send them my way. Thank you all for joining me this morning. I hope you have a great week um, and an excellent rest of your Monday. Thanks, bye-bye.